Hi there, my name is Jonathan and I am part of the digital imaging team at the British Library in London. Today I am going to talk you through the best settings on your camera to use when digitising collection items. If you need to, please watch our tutorial on how to set up a basic digitisation studio. To begin with, you will need a DSLR camera that allows you to switch lenses. Here we are using a Nikon D600. This is a mid-level camera but you do not need the most expensive camera on the market as long as you are able to control the following settings and shoot raw images. For camera model recommendations, particularly suitable for an EAP project, have a look at the digital appendix that accompanies the remote capture guide and is available on the EAP website. The key settings you will need to consider are exposure, focus, white balance and file format. Exposure is controlled by the ISO, shutter speed, the aperture and the light source you have available. Most cameras, when you are reviewing the images you have captured, have a function which will display overexposed highlights as a blinking pattern. ISO is a measure of how sensitive the camera sensor is to light. We advise that you shoot with the ISO set between 100 and 200 and no higher than 400. You will need to make a judgement based on how much light is available in the room you are shooting. As you can see, if you shoot with too high an ISO, your images may look grainy and overexposed. If you use too low an ISO, your images will be underexposed and dark. The aperture is a measure of how much light your camera's lens allows in. To make sure your images are in focus and well exposed, set your aperture to between f8 and f16. If you are using a continuous light source, select Aperture Priority. This allows the camera to adapt the shutter speed automatically to keep your shot as sharp as possible, whilst being evenly exposed. On this camera, there is a mode dial on the top and aperture priority is indicated by A, although on some cameras it may be called AV. If you are using flash lighting, then it is better to use the manual camera mode. This will give you more control of all the camera settings, including ISO, shutter speed and aperture to get the best result. Here we are using a 50mm lens which is not too wide or too close for our purposes. We set the lens to automatic focus rather than manual. Make sure to keep an eye on the quality of your image by checking the focus regularly, even if it is set to automatic. If you have a small collection item, you can change the lens on your camera to a macro lens to capture detail up close. Some other camera settings to consider are your file format, your white balance, and your colour profile. Please refer to your camera's manual on how to change these settings as each camera model is different. Make sure that your file format is set to capture raw, uncompressed images. These capture the highest quality and are easier to edit and compress later if necessary. Your white balance can be set for neutral if available or use the auto setting. Select sRGB as your colour profile. These settings allow you to capture the colour of your images accurately. Ensuring that your camera is set up correctly will allow you to create the highest quality images during the digitisation process so that your collections can be preserved and enjoyed for years to come. This tutorial is part of our online video series covering digitization, digital preservation and conservation for the Endangered Archives program. Please feel free to explore these resources at eap.bl.uk slash training videos.